All right, guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to cover a problem I see um, so often. Um, a user is created in the cloud. Uh, for example, this user right here uh, is created in the cloud. And then um, later on, the IT department decided, oh, they want to do, uh, they want to sync users over. So they want to do door sync. So they go into AD and create the exact same user. And now they're wondering, oh, it's been a couple of days, the sync has gone through, and they're wondering um, why is it still showing in cloud in here, and also they're getting errors. Uh, they're getting error on the connector here. Saying the value must be unique. Um, this is because of the, um, <coughs> the immutable ID. Uh, it's, there's no immutable ID for the uh, for a cloud account. So when the other account tries to sync it, it's in duplicates. Uh, the the way to fix this is to update the immutable ID in the cloud account. Um, what I've done is uh, create a little script that will do that for us in in a couple of seconds and with less effort. I've seen this issue come up a couple of times, and uh, normally when I see an issue two or three times a week, it's time to automate it. Um, so, in, in, in my scenario, I have my um, AD and my um, DirSync running on the same server, so it's easy for me. So what I do is I bring up uh, PowerShell as an administrator. And in order for this to actually work, um, uh, your shell, you must have the uh, Microsoft uh, Online module installed. So I'll go ahead and confirm that I have it available. Get module, let's see, list all available. Let's give a name, it should be MS Online. Perfect. So I have it installed on this, on this computer, so that's fine. If you have an error in here, that means the script will fail. You want to make sure you have your online module installed. I have other videos telling you how to do that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is uh, navigate to the location where my script is. And mine is at this temp. And it is update. Update immutable ID, and the only switch we have in there is the UPN. So, um, as you can see, I'm having trouble with uh, this account, and the UPN for this account is bhazley at text.0365tech.us. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and Jump into that script right here, and I'll paste this, and I'll come and change this to a B, and then on. That should be all I need for my script. And then uh, enter. So the script will prompt you to uh, uh, give your um, Office 365 Global Admin Credential, because it needs to connect to that. Once you provide that, the script will do its work. It says, uh, immutable ID updated in Office 365. Please wait for, s for sync for changes to update to Office 365 or force a sync. In that instance, I'm just going to go ahead and force a sync. This might be different depending on uh, what you're using, what sync agent, whether you're using AD, Connect, or Dura Sync. Um, so this might be different. So you either wait or use the appropriate uh, command to force a sync. Oh, uh, and just to let you know, in this instance of my AD, I'll start the sync. Uh, my AD doesn't have an exchange behind it. It's only syncing um, users. Uh, so I do not have the option to uh, update the like the extension attribute one for the uh, um, the source the source anchor. So that is 
the only option we have is to update the cloud okay so my sync is done so if my once my sync is done I'll go ahead and confirm first I'll jump into the uh, portal here and I'll do a refresh see sync has changed to uh, sync with uh, Active Directory and if I jump back into the sync engine and just do a refresh here open that up and I check the connector you can see there's no errors and it's syncing OK uh, so now what I'll do is I'll jump into the script and break it down for you step by step to see what it does so initially um, I ask for the I make sure the UPN parameter is uh, is uh, mandatory, and I silent any error any uh, errors uh, because I'm doing my error check myself. Then I create a function called connect and update. Uh, so what this function does is the uh, first thing is is connect to the uh, Microsoft. Uh, it tries to connect to Microsoft Online Service. Um, so the first thing you will do, you will set account. A variable count to zero. Then it will try. It will try to get credential for uh, Microsoft uh, online service. Now it's 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 put it in a do loop, meaning that uh, the way I have it set up, it will, it will ask you twice um, for your credential. If you provide invalid credential that doesn't allow you to connect, it will tell you invalid credential supplied, and it will disconnect. Okay, but if you provide valid credential then they will skip this section and it will it will go down to this section and it will, it will say uh, it, will, it will try to um, <coughs> convert the GUI to immutable ID and then once it's converted it will set the uh, you use the principal name to set that immutable ID on the cloud account and then it will tell you that it's been set and it will tell you what to do next so that is the function to connect an update now before it runs to connect uh, an update function what it will do is it will validate that you have provided a valid UPN if you haven't provided a valid UPN that is in AD it will tell you UPN doesn't exist in AD and then it will disconnect it will stop the script right there it won't go any further if the UPN does exist in AD then it will go down here and it will run the connect and update all right uh, thank you for your time and you guys have a wonderful day